so yeah guys android 12 beta 3 is out this is probably the final beta update you can see the build number over here and yeah a lot of changes have been refined even more which is a great thing to see material u is way more implemented now and so let's quickly go through all of these by the way if you want to check out what were the changes in beta 1 and beta 2 in even our developer beta or march feature drops i will have a playlist linked up over here you can definitely check it out so with that said this is android 12 beta 3 and let's check that out All right, so one major thing which was missing from Android is scrolling screenshots. And I mean stock Android, not any other Android skin. Most other Android skins had that. But to show you how it works, let's just take a screenshot real quick. And you can see over here, capture more. When you click on that, you are greeted to this and you can expand it. The good thing is you have a magnifying tool over here so that you can do it precisely. And the good part is that when you shift your finger to the other side, this shifts by itself, which is really neat in my opinion, and I really like it. These are small things that really enhances your experience. So yeah, you can just do it like that, save it from here, share it directly with your contacts, or you can edit again and go into the other features like the markup tool etc and do everything and save it over here so another neat feature which actually existed on huawei phones first if i remember correctly because they had enhanced face id sensors and i'm talking about auto rotate based on your face orientation so let's just go into display and uh, auto rotate screen and I will turn it on and then you get a particular thing called as enable face detection and over here it's clearly written that face detection is used by using the front facing camera nothing is stored or sent to google a disclaimer is mentioned over there so let's just enable it and check it out for example let's go into chrome for example and auto rotate it okay and yeah i have actually bent my face and you can see that the auto rotate is not rotating anymore although it's completely in a now let's just make my face straight and see if it changes yes this time it changed so it's working i don't think it's completely refined but it's kind of working so that's a neat little feature which got added with the android 12 beta 3 update now there is another setting at least for some users which uh, enables the swipe from the corner gesture for google assistant to be disabled now i don't know i don't really have it over here but the power menu hold for assistant has come up over here and not in the gestures anymore which is kind of odd i think it should have been in gestures itself but yeah it's not there but you can check out the video made by 9to5google they have shown how it works another thing that is not working which i feel is a really good thing is link sharing from the recent apps menu now let's say on chrome you have a tab open and when you go to the recent menu a link sharing uh, you know button should come up here unfortunately it's not coming up for me probably because of region or being a pixel 4a and not a pixel 5 so that's something uh, that will come up in probably in the final release of Android 12. Another thing related to gestures, which is a welcome addition in my opinion, is that the swipe down from this navigation bar used to enable the one-handed mode. You can tweak that a bit now. So let's go to one-handed mode and you can see that you have to swipe down from the navigation bar. But when you do it, you have another option for show notifications. So if, for example, in Pixel 4, you don't have the fingerprint sensor behind to drag down for the notification pane, you can use this now to drag down notifications. Even in future phones, if they don't have the fingerprint sensor, which the Pixel 6 might not have according to the leaks, this will be really useful. Also, it has a really huge screen, so yeah. Another thing is you the accessibility shortcut for this one-handed mode has come down here. So you can just click this and you can see a pop-up over here. It tells you how to enable or disable the feature. You can just click this to enable it. And you don't have to even do the gesture in that case, which is really neat in my opinion. 
Now another small thing which has changed into the UI considered things is that over here the power button in the last build was on the right. You can check my last video out up in the card over here for beta 2. But now the power menu has moved to the left and the settings button was obviously on the right from the very beginning and it has come back to its designated position which is appreciated. Small thing which I saw while setting up the phone is this animation. So if you go over here, this animation has again come up and not just that, in dark mode it looks something like this. You can see over here. It's pretty nice, something unique, it wasn't really there before and I think that this is another sign of embracing the material you design and I really appreciate it. Speaking of some small visual changes, here is another one that I wanted to show that when you use your fingerprint to unlock your phone, I will try to slow it down but you can see that the animation enables from approximately the location of the fingerprint sensor so if i tap it and the ripple effect also starts from there and goes to the edges of the screen but apart from that this was already there before when you use the button the animation from the always on display to the rest of the phone acts from the power button you can see the it goes black towards the power button and comes back to the lock screen from the power button side. Another thing which was annoying last time is that I mentioned in my last particular video that the internet button was really useful especially to toggle on and off internet but it was only useful when you had to toggle between uh, data or Wi-Fi but if you even toggle off data there was no way to turn off Wi-Fi from this particular menu. You had to go into the menu itself from the settings page and then make the changes but now you have got a button called as turn off wi-fi which i feel is still not the best way to implement it but it's still there so you can just tap it to turn off wi-fi by itself and just toggle the lt button over here but again you can just turn on wi-fi to see all your options over here and it will auto connect or you can just tap to connect speaking of which now we are into the settings menu and you can see that pill shaped fill colors have come in according to the material u design element about more about material u is coming up so hang in there now if you see the icons over here are a bit different and that's something a part of material u now you can change the icon colors and themes i have made a list of all the icons that were changing according to the themes and most of these are just google specific icons either google apps or system apps which are included in the pixels from before so if you can see over here the exceptions are YT Studio and their own Google app. This is very odd. I believe at least the Google app should have been in the material you design element as well. How to do it? It's this way. You can just go to wallpaper and style over here. And now you can see the interface over here is a lot different as well. This is dark mode. Let's just turn it to light mode. And this is how it looks in light mode. The good part is you have a few changes over here. So let me just change the wallpaper to show you how it works out. Let's just go here and select a wallpaper. You will see that whenever you have selected the wallpaper, the fill color just changed automatically. So the material you adoption is way faster. Last time around you had to change, uh, you know, the system navigation set setting or restart your phone to get it implemented. So you see that the wallpaper got implemented and the application is kind of flawless. Now what you can do is go into the wallpaper and style setting again over here and you have these color options. Nothing is selected right now, probably a basic color is coming up, that's why it's not really aligned. But if you see, you can choose one of these themes and you see the color pattern changing over here. The palette selection is kind of like this. I feel this will get a bit more refined, but as of now, it looks really nice. Everything from the accent color, everything is changing. Let me just show you in dark mode how it looks. So the colors are going to pop a bit more and everything is real time now you can see the quick toggles have changed same with the system wide animations so yeah here is a basic if in if you don't like these you have a selection of basic colors over here you can just change it to that and all the other elements will change accordingly like the quick toggles the accent color of the fill colors etc so i prefer obviously because of material you to go this way only i think it looks really good now the other thing which you can do is the toggle over here called themed icons now if you switch it off it will go back to how it used to be in stock android before 
which was how these icons look but if i go back to over here and select themed icons you can even see the number of icons changing in your home screen over here as a preview so let's just go back and take a look again see these are changing completely and these will change according to one of the palette colors over here which you select let's just select something based on another color you, you can see the clock icon has changed and so have the app icon fill colors so that's something nice more material you over here this is probably the final beta build but i believe there will be another build to update and enhance some other performance related things before the stable update is released so let's just change another wallpaper and see how it works out let's just go for a completely color different color palette all right so this has multiple colors you can see the fill color changed again by itself as soon as i selected the wallpaper all right wallpaper is done let's just go into wallpaper and style again you get these four options all right so here the clock is a bit more contrasting yeah i think i like this one so let's just see how it works out in throughout the system which i really appreciate because last time you had to change uh, the navigation style or you know restart the phone to get it implemented now that it is happening real time although it's a bit stuttery when you initiate it i think it's a good enough thing and again you can see the icon themes have changed another interesting thing is that you know you had the access of uh, location you don't need really a precise location you can do an approximate location as well and you can enable that you will see another thing over here in the google camera is the menus over here so you can see now it's adhering to the material you theme of your phone right now all the toggles over here also are following the same theme which is really nice to see not just that you also have another change over here before there used to be a gear icon now it's called more settings to make it more obvious and that's really appreciated and all the toggles over here and the list over here is adhering to the material you theme now just let me just change it very quickly let's just make it something based on another color let's get into the camera now and you can see again the fill colors on the toggles over here i have changed over here also the settings have changed and the colors over here of the toggles and stuff have changed as well another small little change in the ui element only is if you go to i don't know how many people have used the tips and support i have used the support feature but the layout design has completely changed over here so yeah if you go to google tips this has come up by default into the beta mode which it helps in sending in bugs but you can see the tile layout over here and again the adherence to the material you theme let's just quickly change the accent colors or our color palette a bit quickly and see what difference it makes so yeah now if i go in here you can see the accent colors have again changed so that's how material u is working out i really like it and i hope to see more in the next stable beta update not just that really really excited about the stable android 12 update hitting to the pixels so yeah that's kind of it thank you for watching the next time i will come to you with a video of any other tweaks or changes coming in please be subscribed to the channel for the updates on the stable android 12 update that's been it this is shreyas thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video